Imagine yourself as a director of a podcast where you frequently have guests join the show from call-in to webinar to gaming to underground deep racing. How do you manage all of them within OBS? Wouldn't it be nice to have a co-director join you to help manage all those guests? What if I told you that there is a powerful tool called Video Ninja and it's free? Well, guess what? I'm going to show you all the features of version 19 that have just been released, including the timer, the stats, consent flag, and the new code director. And we're not stopping there. Welcome to the Daily Tech Show. I'm your host, John Meyer. And before we begin, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and smash that notification button because we've got more awesome content on the way. What are we talking about today? Video Ninja and version 19 release, specifically around some of the features of the director. Now, if you're interested in a really in-depth tutorial on Video Ninja's director, take a look up here for the top five features in which I talk 20 plus minutes around the director panel and all the awesome controls. First, what is Video Ninja? In the simplest form, Video Ninja brings live video from a smartphone, tablet, remote computer directly into OBS Studio. All right, so version 19 has an awesome new feature called the co-director, but before we get to that and I show you how it works, let's talk about the timer feature. All right, so you're the director, you've got callers that are joining the show. Wouldn't it be nice to say, hey, listen, caller, you've got 30 seconds. And then the caller's like, yeah, yeah, thank you. I really like your show. You guys are doing awesome. Before I get to what I can say, I got to give a shout out to my mom, my dad, my brothers, my sisters, my third cousins and everything. And you know what? Wouldn't it be nice if the timer just pops up? Five, four, three, two. <laughs> Sorry, caller. We're on to our next one. Let me show you how it works. Now for the timer application, it's very easy to use and you'll notice the countdown clock and how well it notifies the guest. On my left, I have the director set up. On my right is a guest. As a director, I'll come into additional options, down to create timer, let them know that they have 10 seconds to talk. What will happen is you'll see the countdown happening, but what happens when they reach the end of the clock? Wouldn't it be nice if something popped in their face said they're done? Well, here you go. It's letting them know that they're over their time and we're about to shut them off at any time. Now, if you look on the left, on the director side, it is counting down as a T minus 10 seconds, 14 seconds, and let them know that they are over their time to talk. If you wanna stay on target for your live stream or maybe your call-ins that you need to kick these guests off, this is the way to do it to give a full-on notification to the guest. Now, our next feature is having the director control your audio and video in case something changes. Now, there's a full-on security feature that's required for it. It's called the consent flag, which provides the guest that's joining saying, hey, listen, do you wanna give the director control to change your audio and camera? Now think about it, folks. This is by far one of the neatest features for a guest remote control option. And the reason that I'm saying it is because maybe your guest is standing here talking a little bit and they can't change the camera themselves without reaching over. The director has the full ability to do that. Or their audio cuts out from across the states and you need to change it. Well, guess what? This feature allows you to do that and have full control. Let's see how that works. On the left, I have the director. On the right, I'm a guest. Let's copy that link, drop it in, and add the and consent flag, our password. Once you click the camera, notice that you have the privacy warning. The director will be able to completely remotely change your camera and microphone. Don't forget that this is a warning for you and you need to take it seriously. If you don't want them, remove the flag because there won't be any prompts anymore. We'll change this camera. You know what, I'm gonna leave it the OBS virtual and I'll show you how we change it over to my Logitech from the director. Click start, here we go. What are our options? I'll click additional controls, video settings, and now I can drop this down and say Logitech. 
request. I don't have to request, I'm immediately changed over to my Logitech camera. Now I am able to switch the camera views. This goes the same for audio. Now folks, before I talk about the co-director feature, let's talk about sharing a file as a guest to the director. As a guest, you have the ability to record your session and when you're done, guess what? The director can say, hey, can you upload your file to me? And they can quickly, easily upload the file through the browser. How awesome is that? Let's see how it's done. Okay, now we are done recording as a guest. I have a local recording of me so that I can pass it off to the director so they can do any additional editing. How do I, as the director, ask this guest to upload the file? Come, come into additional options, request file. Then they can select the file that was downloaded of the recording, including the audio, and upload it to the director. Okay, the next feature that we are talking about is stats. Wouldn't it be nice to easily access the stats that are available to your video as a guest or a director? It's really quick and simple, and let's check it out. On the left, I have the director. On the right, I'm the guest. How do you see the stats for you as a guest? Hold the command, click on it. There you go, you can see all the statistics for your environment on the left-hand side. All right, now the moment you've been waiting for, the code director feature. By far, this is the best thing for version 19. Now, wouldn't it be nice as a director to have a code director in your environment to help you manage all the guests, all the call-ins, all the webinars, and everything that's happening between the scenes and OBS Studio? Well, guess what? Steve added it in version 19, which allows you to have a second person manage the environment. This is completely awesome and easy to use. Let me show you how. All right, I have two incognito browsers open up to simulate the director on my left and the co-director on my right. Let's create a room and a password to that room. This is not the same password for the co-director to join. Up in the browser, what I'd like to do is I'm going to add the and co-director flag. I like to add it right after the director room name. So we'll do and co-director. This will be a different password. If the password is the same as the room, it will not work. So now this is test co one, two, three, four. So we'll click enter. It just refreshes the site as we get there. Now, since I am the director, and I want to give this to the co-director, I'm going to copy this, I'm going to drop it in. Now, it popped up and said, trying to approve you. And then it said, oh, director is approving you. Notice that on the left, I am the director. On the right, I am the co-director. You'll see this right here, this is just a regular standard color where this indicates that this is the co-director or more of a light blue tealish type environment. Now, how does that really work for guests? Let me show you by adding a guest to the room. All right, we'll click this, copy this link, and I have a third incognito browser back, and we will add the guests to the room. What is our password? Our password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very super secret. I'll draw it with my camera. Allow, and I'll add my Logitech, which... Okay, now that we have a guest in a room, you see the guest here, on the left is the director, on the right is the co-director. I have the same view, the same visibility. The co-director is by far the best feature added to version 19. There are so many unique possibilities to it, and including messaging, and I'll bring up my little guy and we'll send that test message. It just says director. It doesn't even say co-director because if I am the director on the left and I leave the room, I'm automatically granted the director permissions as the co-director. So basically, I just got a raise. I hope you liked the co-director flag and seeing the value of this for multiple people to manage the environment for Video Ninja. All right, folks, that's it. You've seen the latest features for the director of version 19 of Video Ninja, and I couldn't be happier with all the releases. Now, below I will put a link to every feature that Steve released for version 19. But don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and the notification because we have more content on the way. Thanks for joining the Daily Tech Show. I'm your host, John Meyer, and until next time.